I was just asking if you're feeling better now that you've been out of the moonless place for a while. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you hear a phone ringing just now? What is a phone? I don't know. Hey, what's all this stuff? These appear to be tools for the creation of sound and music. Music? I see. Should we start a band? Some kind of hipster folk duo where no one can tell how ironic we're supposed to be? I'll play the drums and the ukulele and hammer dulcimer and you can play the... What is it, Tina? I, I know this! This is... mine! It still works! When did you have this? board of keys. A long time ago, before we met, I was selling things with my business partner, Kit. The moonless place may have scrambled my brains, but I remember Kit. Who wants stuff? We got so much stuff. We got all the dang stuff for your dreams. We got a scrap of old jeans. Can they use the whole beans? And it's not how as rusty as it seems. Looking for some old beans? We got, got what you need. need, half a pair of spats, well we're your best, come buy our stuff. You folks got anything to gussy up an eye patch? We got a key, freshly traded to us from a confused rat out east. What's it open? Maybe your true love's heart, maybe a pay toilet, who can say? Huh, I'll give you a rock. What kind of rock? Shiny one. How shiny? Mega shiny. Deal. Hey, you didn't say it was broken! What is a rock broken in two, but twice as many rocks? <laughs> I gotta tell you, Tina, I've been crunching our third quarter numbers, and it's not looking good. What numbers? We trade junk for junk. Anything can be numbers if you bash it with math. Maybe we just aren't cut out for the cutthroat world of trash trading. <gasps> but, but if we don't sell the junk, who will? It'll all just... Sit there, in piles, never seeing anyone new, never being loved. It'll be... abandoned. Tina, it's garbage. Garbage needs love too, Kit. Pardon me. Are you open for business? We're always open for business. Shamelessly so. I'm looking for a gift for my sister. We don't see each other much these days, and I want to show her I'm thinking about her. Hold on to her. Losing someone you love is a terrible thing. Abandonment is the cruelest punishment ever devised by the irredeemable engineers of Hell's most depraved laboratories. That was beautiful. But also, are you okay? Uh, yes! How about this broken stone? It's just like you and your sister. How so? Even if you somehow break a stone apart, it fits back together, even years later, as one perfect whole. Unless you explode it. Don't harsh my metaphor, Tina. Huh. I like that. Clever pitch, bat friend. What will you take for it? What do you got? Not much, in all honesty. 
A poet's existence glitters with naught but stars and valentines. And only if the valentines are made with glitter. Hmm. Gotta workshop that one. You're a poet? I like to think so. Neat! We'll trade you the broken rock for a poem! Tina, we can't put food in our children's mouths with a poem. We don't have children. I might, I don't know. How about a poem and a hot tip about a treasure trove rife for the trading? Treasures? We're listening with gusto. If you follow the river south, you will find a ringing box. They say it's full of coins. Who says that? Folk. Okay, hit me with that poem. Sometimes trash is simply trash, but trash oft still remembers. It's stories of love lost in a flash, or of thirty cold Novembers. What's discarded is not always forgotten, nor does the discarded forget. Though colors fade and cores turn rotten, in trios that once were quartets. Ooh! I give it a seven. Out of what? I don't know. I'll take it. Did you ever find this ringing treasure box? Huh? Did we? I, th I think we did. What'd you find there? I'm intrigued by these papers. I wish I understood the text. Well, that one says, the effects of acoustical exercises on Zone 6 Deep Forest Phenomena. Tina, you can read. I can? You just did. Oh! How long will Bronson and the kids be visiting? Either till Bronson figures out how he's gonna repay whoever it is he owes them debts to, or till I get so annoyed with him I break the solemn bonds of fraternal devotion and kick his ass into a ditch full of wood ticks. Whichever comes first. It'll be the latter. Anyway, he's off talking to some pelican that can supposedly help him out. Ah. What's a pelican? It's like a swan, except you can fit in its mouth. And you should if you get the chance. It's on my bucket list. Why is it that you and your brother don't get along? Because of the incident. What incident? The one which occurred betwixt us. Was it a- No further questions. Well, I'm getting along really well with Rally and Gentry. Good. They really seem to like me. That's sweet. A, a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Kids try to light you on fire when they like you, right? I ain't a pediatrician. Friend Crispin. We have selected the marking we wish to give you. The marking. <sighs> Skulls? Seems like a pile of skulls. Maybe we shouldn't stop here. Why? Because of the pile of skulls? I like the pile of skulls. It is a rather soothing pile of skulls, isn't it? Mm, soothing. Comfortable. Mmm. Skulls. Should we take one? I don't know. Seems like a free way to Kersberg. Besides, if this box of coins exists, we'll have enough treasures for the trading. Yes, an ass load of treasures. Touch keys. What have you? I like our business. Abandoned lonely things. I find them relatable? Yeah, but you don't have to be alone, you know. You won't be forgotten. Thank you. I'm... Totally taking one of these skulls. You sure? It's a f***ing skull! What could go wrong? Mm, 
Mr. Curtis will see you now. I see so many creatures in the course of my business. The desperate, the mournful, the dregs of the pits of the ninth circle of society's living hell. And few have struck me as quite so uniquely pathetic as you. Now tell me, why should I help you? Well, that's a fair query there, Curtis. Uh, let me answer your question with a parable. You see, there was once a fella who had two children. Or was it two fellas who had one child? Anyway, the circus came to town and... Uh, Bronson, what is the precise opposite of caring? Uh, disdain? No, no, that's too much investment. Apathy? Almost, but I need a more vivid illustration of the palpability of my disinterest. The colored taupe? Ah, yes. I feel overwhelmingly taupe about you and your troubles, Bronson. Explain to me why you're wasting my time while I still find the sensation almost vaguely charming. Curtis, I got me a large and weighty debt. A pelican rarely looks surprised, but I assure you I am making an even less surprised face than usual. And I am not, at present, in a position to repay. Our mutual elongated friend is not going to like that. I ain't a fear to him. Even if he were to contract the services of the Shrike. You think he would? The only thing he likes more than violence and money is violence for money. He would relish an excuse to sick the Shrike on you. I won't lie to you, Curtis. That gives me quivers in my most dreadful regions. Of course, I am in a position to help you, but I'm not going to simply give you what you need. I would never insult you with such charity. Oh, I am intensely eager to be thus insulted. Don't you worry about that. No, Bronson. I will help you by employing you. I am an entrepreneur, and you work for me now. Doing what? You'll find out when I call for you. Uh, how will I you... I know how to find you. All right, then. Should I... Yes, you should go now. Do I have any dignity left to leave with? I'm rolling the last of your dignity over my tongue, like the most velvety caviar, Bronson. <sighs> No matter how many times I hear that, it doesn't get any easier. Mr. Curtis is a very busy pelican. But Mr. Curtis always makes time for friends. Even the rude ones. Oh, pardon. Yep. My fault entirely. Did that guy remind you of... What a horrible noise. I like it. So... How do we get the coins out? Hmm... Well, it's a hell of a doodad, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> I I hit the ground pretty hard. Did the ringing stop? Yeah. Yeah, it, it stopped. What then? Then there was a voice. Tina, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What kind of voice? Tina? Tina, is that you? Hello? Tina, it's me! I... Who? I don't really, I don't really know, know where, where I, am. I am. I don't know how any of this works, but I went inside a mountain and I can't... I'm scared, Tina. I don't know how I... Oh, no. Oh, no. I... I...
there's a mountain. Huh, a mountain. Well, since neither of us can get anywhere alone, should we try going toward the mountain together? Better than being stuck here together. I agree. Of course you do. I knew you'd say that. I hate you. I hate you too. 